What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your mid-month January 2021 reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as it pertains to your love life. All right, guys. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every single one of you. It's not possible. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it to and don't be offended because it's just not possible to get to everyone. Um, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here, okay? If you need a personal reading, don't hesitate to hit me up. Everything you need to know is in the About Me as well as a description to this video. All right, here we go, y'all. Overall energy for Sagittarius. Overall. You know what? That came out sideways, but I'm just going to make it upright because it's sideways. So I'm picking the magician. Beautiful. Recent past for Sagittarius. Three of Wands. Present energy for Sagittarius. Hangman reverse. You are ready to go. Making shit happen, huh? Immediate future for Sagittarius. King of Cups. Guys, this is nice. This is a good ass reading so far. All right, let's start here. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. It would be you. Everything else in the reading is interchangeable, can be for you, the person you're dealing with. Outside influences, all that good stuff, okay? Um, so you guys are in this magician energy, right? Manifesting your goals, creating your life, making shit happen. Whatever it is that you want in your love life, you're doing it. You're getting it, all right? If you don't have it yet, you're on your way to it. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. King of Wands, there you are. Oh my gosh, you are on your shit, Sagittarius. This is great, I love it. This is your energy, okay? This is you being in your power, is going after what you want. With the freaking magician, this is amazing, amazing. You couldn't be in better energy, you couldn't. Unless you got temperance up here too, this is freaking phenomenal. King of Wands is goal-driven, ambitious. With the magician behind that, you've got like all the power to get whatever it is that you want. All right? You just have to do it, take the action, and you are. Like you are about it. Um, you're probably feeling yourself physically. You, you know, your appearance is good. Maybe you're working out. Maybe you're doing some shit to your hair, whatever. Um, buying some clothes, whatever, whatever it is for you. King of Wands is very about their image, all right? <clears throat> um, energetic, life of the party, outgoing. It really, it could not be better for you. I mean, it could, we're getting there. But <laughs> as far as your energy goes, you're getting shit done, Sagittarius. I love it. Recent past, the three of wands. This is preparing for your future. Setting down that foundation, you only need one more wand there, right? This is in the recent past. More fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Present, the hanged man reversed. Yeah, you're taking action. You're not waiting around. You're done. You're on it. You're getting shit done. Like I said, you waited around long enough. Now it's time to do it. Maybe literally. I don't know. Clarify the hangman reverse for Sagittarius. The high priest. Oh my gosh. Taurus energy. This is a hierophant card. Um, that's commitment. That could be an actual marriage. It is commitment. It's very traditional. Um you're not waiting around anymore you're doing it like if maybe you were just kind of wondering if you should actually commit or 
what was going to happen here. You're not waiting anymore. You're, do you're actually doing it. You could even be getting freaking married. Clarify the High Priest, a.k.a. the Hierophant for Sagittarius. You've also got three majors already out here, and we barely have any cards. Seven of Swords reversed. So that's co maybe confessing. Somebody gets caught or somebody confesses something, and this is not a bad reading, so I don't think it's something bad. I think it's maybe somebody confessing that they actually want to get married, that they actually want a traditional commitment. That's what it looks like to me. And in the immediate future, you've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It, this is either you taking on this energy or this other person, but it's grown-up energy. It's emotional maturity. It's emotional availability. It's loving. It's compassionate. Paternal energy as well, if that means anything to you. Um, great, great energy for a love relationship. Clarify the King of Cups. Somebody might be becoming a parent. Somebody might be one. You've got two kings here, fire and water. Um, so whether this is you taking on both of these energies or the person you're dealing with or, you know, either one of you, you could both be these kings. That doesn't mean that you're both men. It doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> it's just elevated to the highest level of that sign's qualities, right? So you guys are at the top of your game, both of you. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So uh, that's real workaholic energy. A Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Watch out for, you know, being a little bit of a workaholic. No big deal. All right. Watch out for overspending as well. But again, no big deal potential obstacle is judgment so there may be something coming up from the past that you thought was done and over and now it's back and it's a problem it's just not huge problem because you look good <coughs> anyone that you're dealing with if it's this other person here this king of cups everybody looks good here um it just might be that something just needs attention from the past something needs reevaluated. All right, make sure that you are using good judgment. All right, advice for you. I mean, this is a good reading, guys. I don't really even know what else to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's good. It looks like you are moving towards an actual traditional commitment. There's no more waiting. It's time. Advice for Sagittarius. The Hermit, Virgo, you've got so many majors here. Virgo energy. So, okay, you might just have to take a time out. You might need to take some time for yourself. You know, you're going, you're manifesting, you're getting shit done, you're out there, you're being seen. <coughs> you might need to take a break. That's all. Take a break. You do have something come up, coming back up to be reevaluated, so you might just need to take a time out, go within, isolate a little bit to process that, whatever it is. Nothing crazy. You just might need some time for yourself, <laughs> all right? King of Wands is very go-getter, very in-your-face, so you might just need, yeah, might just need a rest. Let's get another advice for Sagittarius. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, that's a halt. It, it's time to just like take a break for you, really. That's how I feel. All right, let's get you an oracle. So these oracles are really lighthearted. The readings tend to be heavy, so I like to end it with something not so serious and more fun. Um, they are love oracles, but they have people on them, and the people are really fun. All right, here we go. What do we got for Sagittarius? Mid-January, what do we got for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius? What do they need to hear? George Clooney. Why is everybody getting George Clooney this month? What the heck, George Clooney? Are you a fan? If you commit the perfect heist, make sure you don't brag about it. Intelligence is the sexiest attribute. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that's super smart. 
once you share your personal life, it's not personal. So you might want to watch what you reveal. Watch out for people being in your business. Okay? All right, y'all. Take care. Um, I will talk to you in another day or two with your next reading. But it all looks good here. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Okay? All right.